Hello Libra and welcome to your June predictions. I'm Rena Wells and I'm going to be doing your reading today. This is general so please take what resonates. Also I am opening my calendar up for readings up to the public so if you are interested you're not going to find it on my website because I don't open that up to the public just for my soul tribe members but if you are willing if you are wanting to get a reading uh, send me an email down below. That info is down there and we'll get you booked in. All right what is going on for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look at your stability right now in the first part, and then we're going to see what's going on for love. And uh, yeah, we'd love if you like what you see here, like and subscribe, guys. Let's take a look. What is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June, please? What energies are coming through for Libra? Wow, you're hitting an ascension point, okay? I feel this has already happened. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I say that, the next card that comes out. Okay, so take the first card that came out was this one. You've already hit this ascension point. You've gone through a massive transformation. And as I was saying, that spirit brought this one out where you are now learning how to cultivate that power and grow it and birth it. Um, this is, has a lot to do with, and look at this, the four arms. So if you notice all the Hindu gods, they have four arms. So you're not blue yet. <laughs> the color of the egg is blue. So you're coming into a massive ascension and enlightenment you can see a little bit of blue coming through here libra and so you're birthing and taking care of this new energy it's a pure energy you have already set healthy boundaries for yourself and if you haven't quite yet you know that this is your next step okay this is um, a complete awakening of the kundalini has been risen through you it's ready to cultivate and move further into your third eye into the crown chakra so that you become this enlightened being and i love that there's four arms here uh, there's more than four. There's six. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, there's six arms. So this is your very highly spiritual being, and you're coming into your knowing. I'm also feeling that... Um, you're a teacher and a leader. Yeah, this is very powerful energy. You're a medicine person. You have a lot of deep gifts here, Libra. Let's see what else Spirit is bringing through for you. Spirit is saying that um, they don't want you to doubt any more of how you see things. Well, how you see things is very much a, a, is true. So um, you're having visions. You're seeing how to create maybe a new platform or uh, how things are meant to be in the world. So wherever you are, I'm seeing like policy, justice, if you're into politics, um, creating economy, um, you may not be a typical new age person, um, but you're definitely here to build a new structure. Um, Spirit is saying, and for some of you, that may be the story, but for others of you, it's about combining your spiritual self finally into your higher intelligence. You have a higher intelligence of building structure and uh, processes and procedures and um, businesses and entrepreneurship type of energy, and you're highly creative and so spirit is saying this is coming in june and how to merge all of those gifts wow libra this is beautiful energy coming through uh if you're a coach or a counselor spirit is saying that you have a really good knack of knowing how to speak to people so if that's part of your business that is definitely coming through as well um let's see what else is coming through for libra what else is coming through for libra in finances mission and foundation please spirit okay yeah you're going to be at a place where you're going to be able to exchange gifts with other people that are like-minded like you. You've been in this rut of never-ending story. Things didn't seem to get better. Um, this is a number 10. So it is the end of that cycle for you. So you can actually come fully into this enlightenment stage. This is why I'm seeing you taking and nurturing that pure energy that you've received through your awakening process. You're going to be getting gifts, okay? You're going to be able to exchange your gifts, share your gifts, um, and move into something much more sustainable with those gifts okay spirit is also saying this is the time to just breathe and to own this power you see how her hands are crossed here it's bringing up the hands that are here too okay this is also spirit is bringing me to show me the hands that are here okay how they're laid out they want you to be able to nurture and receive and to be able to receive the manifestations now what i'm getting is i'm going to pull the portal energies because that's what i'm getting right away is that there's a new manifestation that's wanting to come to you um, and they need you to relax, Libra. <laughs> they need you to relax in June, okay? They want to give you a lot of these gifts and um, 
you're ending a massive cycle here and see how the heart is in a jar um that's the end of a cycle so you've gone through your awakening you've gone through your purification there's definitely a gift so just chill out just chill out netflix it pop some popcorn <laughs> and just chill out in your calling right now and what you're doing there's nothing else to do but to honor this purity okay and you've been doing that you've been setting boundaries and not let people take your energy okay what and what portal is opening up here they want me to see look at this you're going to be mending bridges so you may be coming into a twin flame connection but you're going to be mending bridges i'm seeing from lower self to higher self what other portals opening up for Libra, please yeah, you're going to be shown the truth of everything. So if you've been hidden in the dark about something um, in regards to uh, why you've been treated a certain way, why uh, whatever this tower was in your life, whatever the fall has been, this enlightenment uh, that you're gaining, Spirit is saying that you may have been on a very lonely journey for a while. There's going to be a mending of bridges. I need to pull another card on that. I need to pull another card on that, and they're pulling me to in a completely different deck here. So I wasn't planning on using this deck, but just give me a moment. Um, they're definitely pulling me into using this deck. Okay, we'll use this one. Um, about this mending bridges. What is this mending bridges spirit? What is this mending bridges? For Libra in June. What is this mending bridges for Libra in June? It's like you're, some people maybe from the past may be returning to help you on your calling. What is this for? The Swan Queen. In transformation, intuition, and patience. <laughs> there are two swans here, okay? And as soon as I saw that, I'm feeling a twin flame connection. Um, could be a soulmate. Um, somebody that may have left. Uh, it could be also maybe a partnership in a business or something that didn't get off the ground that's coming back that wants to uh, apologize and work with you. So let's just clarify that a little deeper here because I am feeling that something is returning to you. A lot of truth is going to be coming through for you, Libra, okay? Um, so wherever you felt that you were jilted, Spirit is really bringing through that it was you're going to get your karmic justice your justice is coming to you and you're going to see it in june okay uh just keep chilling out keep whoops keep honoring the the energy that you have been honoring in yourself and it's going to happen what is this mending bridges please spirit for libra coming in june the lovers okay something that ended okay a sacred partnership that ended so Wow. So that's definitely coming through. It's going to be um, helping you with your foundation, with your money, how everything is happening. Um, you're going to have an exchange of gifts. Clarify that exchange of gifts for Libra. This person wasn't honest with you. Yeah, the secrets, okay? Things are hidden from you. You're not seeing things working in the energy. What is this dwelling in the truth? The truth is going to be revealed to you, Libra, coming in June, okay? out of your sadness the five of cups okay so they want you to realize that you see when i created this card there's like a sad little flower oh it's so sad but there's something behind the flower you know so there is something more and they and the truth is coming forward what is the truth <laughs> the sun illumination happiness okay so you're walking through a new portal here you're walking out of the darkness into the sun so there definitely is something coming through in june for you because of this massive enlightenment that you've already done. So they want you to keep breathing and keep relaxing and chilling out. You're coming out of a place of um, of lack is what I'm seeing, the Four of Cups in reverse. Uh, you're, you know what you deserve now. Uh, whatever you've healed is definitely coming to play. Um, in regards to finances, let's pull another card. Um, do, 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 do. Where is that deck? Let's see what's going on with finances. But Spirit wants to make the connection um, very clear for you, Libra. And that's happened with, I think, a couple other signs as well. What is going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June, please? What is coming with finances and abundance and money and work and mission, please? Wow. 
you may be a star seed here, Libra, okay? So if you are highly sensitive, Spirit wants to recognize uh, that you um, are a star seed and highly um, sensitive, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. And so your sensitivity and the work that you have been doing to heal these things um, in your life after this break or uh, this never ending story of thinking like this pain is never going to end. They want you to recognize your gifts are coming, things are manifesting for you, the truth is being going to be shown and revealed to you. And just notice that you are a star seed. You came from other higher realms, uh, from far, far away to help heal humanity. And uh, there's different frequencies that different souls were created in. And you are one of a high soul that was created in the very high frequency. So that's why your sensitivity sometimes Libra gets to you. And that's okay. Um, Spirit is saying here, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. Wow. Really beautiful. So Spirit is saying where we know that um, you know you've been turning your back here you see she's turned her back onto certain things in her life and this is where you've been honoring your purity and birthing something new and so there's a manifestation that is about to start opening a new gateway for you here and what I'm seeing is like you've walked through these mountains you've moved out of this dark place and you're coming into something more stable so the truth I don't know if they're gonna tell me the truth can you tell me the truth here spirit let's take a look at these cards can you tell me the truth? What is the truth that's going to be revealed to Libra in June in regards to the finances and their foundation? Please, Spirit, can you please tell me what is going to be revealed? Can you tell us a little secret? Tell us a little something. What are we allowed to know in dwelling in the truth? Okay. The truth of why you were kept in a place of sanctuary, okay? You're going to be celebrating the truth of why spirit hid you. Sometimes spirit has to hide some of the pure souls. They keep them away. They keep people away. The toxicity away because you're a star seed when you're sensitive like this. You know, you can't be playing in some of the energies. Some people, other people can. Um, some people have a, a different type of soul frequency and that they can go dark. You can't, Libra. Not that you can't do it. You can, but God has put you in this little cave and kept you, you know, like an oyster and the sand, you know, to make an oyster, they're showing me an oyster to make that pearl, you know, so beautiful. It has to be irritated by sand, you know, and spirit has kept you here, but you're ready to come out of this and, and know the truth. And you're going to be dancing here, Libra in June. Okay. By the end of June, you're going to be dancing and celebrating. So there's a lot of dance. There's a lot of, oops, sorry. Just let me pause that phone you're getting a phone call libra you're getting a phone call oh my mom answered it <laughs> um so you're definitely getting a phone call somebody's reaching out to you something is going to be happening to your love life there is a twin flame soulmate connection that's happening here you've been pulled away you've been in your cave you've been doing your work you've been look at this drawing you're looking out of the horizon you've been elevating yourself i also want to show you this is almost like a cave as well look at the circular patterns that are happening here Okay, so there's definitely a cave um, being pulled into um, your power so that you can finally burst out into your power. And an exchange of gifts that are happening here. Let's take a look a little bit deeper. What did this exchange of gifts, Spirit? That came up pretty good. Yeah, something that you haven't been focusing and working on. You've been trying to let this go, whatever it is, right? Uh, and your never-ending story. Yeah, you just didn't want to juggle it anymore. You weren't debating back and forth. You're like, it is what it is. But again, look, you're coming out of your cave, out of the hermit, okay, into this beautiful queen of pentacles to ground it. That's a manifestation of divine feminine energy. You're ready to ground your abundance. So June is a potent time to ground, manifest, and things are things that you've been hoping for, Libra, are about to happen. I'm sorry, looking at the time there. They're about to happen. Let's take a look at the soulmate twin flame category and what is happening there is a bird singing right outside my window do you hear it oh libra such magic for you today that means you're you're getting messages the birds are the messengers of spirit you're getting a message of the phone rang and uh you're getting you're getting it all libra so let's take a look what is such a powerful reading libra let's take a look what is going on in soulmate twin flame connection for libra please spirit in june what is going on for libra it feels a little interesting okay you've had your strength okay so we have here 
I'm working on my inner issues, okay? So whoever you're thinking of in love, your person has been working on your stuff. You've been working on your stuff. Can we work things out? There's a lot of strength and there's a masculine here. Somebody wants to work things out with you. Somebody wants to mend those bridges, okay? We had the mend the bridges card here. We had the swan queen. Transformation, initiation, and patience that you've been holding, okay? It's also number four for a foundation. It's about a, a relationship, something that's... Um, been hidden um, in your cave, <laughs> hidden from you. Spirit has kept you hidden so that you are going to come into a place of celebrating and um, something that ended is going to come back, something sacred if it's um, for those that don't want the past person, there is definitely new love that's coming in based on the work that you have done on yourself. But there is definitely something or somebody that wants to work it out with you. Okay, wow. Let's see what else is happening I want to pull hmm, something else in love for you. I'm going to pull these just because it feels so powerful, Libra. What is going on for Libra in love in June, please, Spirit? What is going on for Libra in love in June? What is going on for Libra? love in June. So you're getting a lot of abundance is coming in June. You're not going to be juggling anything, things that you didn't, that you may have put onto the side and you haven't been focusing on. Things are going to about to manifest because when you know when you surrender, you let go. Things happen. Um, Spirit is saying just relax. You, your sensitivity was the reason why they've been keeping you pulled away from, you know, other things that, you know, you may be questioning like, why? Where is my time? When is it going to be time for me? Well, it's your time, Libra. June is your time, and they're saying in love, things are definitely going to improve as well. It's going to bring in um, a higher source of energy. Now, Spirit is saying in love, you may have felt not enough because somebody was a snake. I feel maybe it's, I can't tell you the birds. Are you hearing the birds? Somebody may have, you know, take, the bird is sitting right here on my windowsill, okay? <laughs> and looking at me. So there is a message here from spirit, definitely, that somebody interfered in your connection. Somebody um, maybe made you feel that you were not enough. Your person may not have felt that they were enough, but it's definitely a manipulative energy, and spirit wants to bring that through, that that is changing in June. How's the spirit? Can you please tell us for Libra? <laughs> Someone is coming for you. The chaser with the palm tree to bring stability, security, growth, and endurance, okay? So there's something of a stable energy that's coming in your love life. It's coming in your money. It's coming in your finances. coming in your foundation. They want me to pull one more time. Okay. <laughs> love. <laughs> this is the final part. The final countdown is what I'm hearing. It's the final countdown. Someone from your past. Okay, the camera. Someone from your past in regards to love and who holds the key to your heart. So there definitely is an energy that's coming in that's going in. What, and how does that play out in the whole life for Libra? Money, finances, everything else. How does that play out? Wow, it's unconditional love that is coming for you. That just came out, Libra. That is so magical. That is so beautiful for you. Okay, so there is massive shift that's happening for you Libra let's see what um, animal messages are coming through for you what animal you need to work with here some healing messages from the animal kingdom so beautiful Libra there's a lot of good things I would love to hear your comments on this if you've been feeling this transition and this shift and your sensitivity it's time to honor that sensitive nature of yours you know what is going on for Libra here, please? What animal wants... Whoa. It's like all the animals want to work with you, Libra. What animals want to work with Libra for June? Wow. We've got, a, we've got three here. So this is interesting what came up. We have the cosmic egg with the black egg. Oh, I'm going to tell you the story of the frog, Abia. Abia. Uh, she's a goddess that I was just reading about today. But I'll tell you about that in a minute. It's interesting that we have the black egg and we have the cosmic egg that came out together. Okay. It's almost the transition that you were pulled into your cave with the black egg to do the shadow work, to go within yourself. And you hatched out into this beautiful, radiant, vibrant, kundalini ignited energy and spirit is saying that you haven't noticed how powerful you really are yet libra because spirit has kind of kept you a secret <laughs> spirit has kind of pulled you away and has been honoring that gift um 
and and not letting you integrate it fully into the physical world into the collective yet but when this mending happens okay you're coming into some type of union when this happens you are going to be highly protected and um you're going to be able to shine in such a way to bring a massive transformation to the earth and it's going to be this snake the kundalini the ancient wisdom that you've gained by going into this darkness uh, that's really beautiful now there is a story of the um a zemi god I've been researching it because I'm here in Guyana, South America, that we've been having some spirits that have been bothering my son. So we have to go do some ritual stuff. <laughs> it's funny how the universe works. But I just read about Zemi, and I'm not going to pronounce this right because I can't. I just read it today, and it's Abita, the Abita woman, feminine goddess of Earth. She presents herself as a frog because she usually, frogs are in a birthing position, um, the way their legs are when you birth. And the frog is a beautiful energy of rebirth uh if you look at how frogs are made you know and how they have to go through so much transformation in order to come into a full phone a fledged frog it's very feminine energy as you can see it's a water element but it's feminine energy so this is coming to a divine feminine energy of sacredhood of mother earth and being the expression of mother earth and i can't tell you the amount of birds in here reading libra I don't know if you can hear that, but um, I hope you love that. That is your reading for June and your predictions. If you want more details, we can go into more detail. We can do a reading together in June. Hit me up. Send me an email. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm sending you so much love. Thanks for being here. That was pretty, pretty awesome. Bye.